So there was a debate on ESPN this morning about the NFL MVP, and Dan Arlowski seems to be the biggest Brock Purdy hater on the planet by discrediting him in every way possible. There is no question that Purdy did struggle during the Niners three game losing streak, but so did Christian McCaffrey who Dan thinks is more deserving of MVP than Purdy. I mean, you take a look at what CMC did in those three games without, of course, Trent Williams, 43 yards rushing, 45 yards, and then 54. Purdy also against the Browns, the best defense in football, historically speaking, we're playing the best maybe ever. Purdy leads the Niners down the field. Jake Moody ends up missing a game-winning field goal. The Vikings are one of the best defenses in the NFL under Brian Flores. And then, of course, the other loss came against the Bengals with Joe Burrow, and we know that they're a Super Bowl-level team. So, yeah, Purdy didn't have the best stretch there, but you also have to realize that he's 23 years old. He was the last pick of the draft last season. Purdy, he is an elite-level quarterback. There is no question about it. You can't just talk about the weapons and the system and the scheme because if you... Talk to me about any single quarterback in the NFL. I could say the same thing. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid, Jalen Hurts has A.J. Brown and Devonta Smith, an elite offensive line, right? He's got Nick Sirianni, who I think is one of the best coaches in the NFL. Dak Prescott's got C.D. Lamb. He's got, of course, Mike McCarthy, who's top 10 in wins. He's got a good offensive line, right? Not to mention he's got a good tight end as well in Jalen Ferguson, who's you know top five in separation this season. Like any quarterback that's good has weapons, a good scheme and talent around him to benefit him. And it's the same thing for Brock Purdy is yeah, sure. Purdy has Debo, IU, Kittle, uh, solid offensive line, Shanahan, Christian McCaffrey. But the Niners are where they are right now because of Brock Purdy. If you take Jimmy G, who let's, let's talk about Jimmy G actually for a second. He is benched behind Aiden O'Connell, who was like a fifth round rookie out of Purdue, a five-year starter. Aiden O'Connell is not the greatest, and yet Jimmy is behind him in the depth chart. I mean, Jimmy did look a lot better than he actually was with the Niners, but I think it's different for Purdy because the way he goes through his reads, the accuracy, the IQ, the ball placement, you name it, the competitiveness, the fire. I mean, Purdy to me, is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. If you were to put Purdy on any team in the NFL, he would make them better. I'm not saying he would lead them to the playoffs, right? Like if Brock Purdy was on the Arizona Cardinals, would they make the playoffs? Probably not. But would they be a significantly better team? Absolutely, man. I mean, Purdy has that dog in him. And I'm not like trying to jinx the Niners or anything like that. But if they stay healthy, they will win the Super Bowl. And they will win multiple Super Bowls under Brock Purdy, especially because of that rookie contract. But when he's been on the field and when the Niners have been healthy, because the key thing is, yes, when they've been healthy, but that's the same thing for any team in the NFL. Like, go and take away the Chiefs' best offensive lineman in Travis Kelsey and see how they do. Patrick Mahomes has struggled with Travis Kelsey and his elite offensive line, right? That's the thing is that... Now, Purdy, all he's done is go out there and have big games. Shredded the Eagles. He shredded the Steelers. You know, he shredded, of course, the Dallas Cowboys and the Seattle Seahawks twice now. Uh, even the Cleveland Browns, like Purdy put his team in a position to win the game. It's just Jake Moody missed a game-winning kick that he should have made. So all this hate surrounding Brock Purdy is getting old. To say that he's a system quarterback, to say that he's not elite. I mean, Shannon Sharp is one of the brightest minds in the media for the NFL. I love watching this guy debate and talk football. He doesn't even think Brock Purdy's elite. I don't know if anyone on ESPN thinks Brock Purdy's an elite quarterback, including Stephen A. Smith, right? Dan Orlowski certainly doesn't. To me, when I watch Brock Purdy, he is the opposite of a system quarterback. I mean, he is just letting the ball fly. He knows where to go with it. He knows to get rid of it quickly. He knows when to extend a play. And you go and talk to George Kittle or Debo Samuel, and they're gonna be the first to tell you that Purdy's the MVP because it's pretty obvious he has put up the best numbers. And let's talk about numbers and then we'll talk about McCaffrey. So let's start off with the numbers, right? So the only threat to Brock Purdy right now for MVP, at least in my opinion, is Lamar Jackson. And here's the thing with Lamar is he has 17 touchdowns, seven interceptions, a 60.8 QBR, and 3,105 yards. Brock Purdy, has the same amount of interceptions with seven, but 29 touchdowns, 
3,795 yards and a 76 QBR. Now, obviously, Lamar is a mobile quarterback. 741 rushing yards. That's 3,846. Purdy has 3,795 passing yards. Now, the question is, how many rushing touchdowns does Lamar have? He's got five. So five plus 17 touchdowns, 22. So 22 touchdowns to Purdy's 29. I bet Purdy has at least one rushing touchdown though because the QB sneak, two rushing touchdowns. Overall, Purdy has two rushing touchdowns. He's got 138 with his legs on top of the 29 touchdowns, 3,795 yards, seven interceptions. Purdy has not lost a fumble this year. Lamar, he's lost two. So yeah, that's the thing is you got to add that you know, nine turnovers for Lamar and seven for Purdy. Purdy has more touchdowns, more yards. And obviously the 49ers have the best record in the NFL. And Purdy just, he's been way more dominant. Like you can make the argument that Lamar Jackson has less around him because no Mark Andrews loses JK Dobbins to start the season. But at the same time, you can't just be like, oh, Lamar's the MVP. He has less around him. No, like Purdy has the best numbers. He's on the best team and he's played the best quarterback the entire season practically, right? So I don't know what else we can say. Purdy's elevated his game against the top teams. It'd be one thing if Purdy was shredding the Washington Commanders, right? And, and the Arizona Cardinals, but he's been shredding the best teams in the NFL. So I don't really know what else we're debating. And then in terms of Christian McCaffrey, I think he's the one guy that can challenge Lamar and Purdy because he's got 1,292 rushing yards, which is first. He's first in carry, second in touchdowns, which is behind Raheem Mostert, but that's again, that's as a runner. He has tied for 20 right now in total. 5.3 average is incredibly good. I mean, anything over four is good. 5.3 is just absurd with the most carries. I mean, that is just, is not human. And also as a receiver, McCaffrey has 509 yards and seven more touchdowns. I mean, McCaffrey is a generational running back. And if he ends up putting up like a record breaking amount of touchdowns or anything like that, I mean, we could be talking about, I mean, you go over 2000 yards, which he will on top of those touchdowns on the best team. I mean, we seriously have to start talking about McCaffrey, but the thing is, is that Brock Purdy's a quarterback and everything plays through him. Like he touches the ball basically every single time unless it's wildcat formation. So my vote is, is uh, Brock Purdy for MVP. And the fact that this guy was the last pick of the seventh round last year, and now he's an MVP candidate, man, I mean, that is just unbelievable. I don't know how scouts missed out on him, but wow, Brock Purdy, what a, what a good looking guy. <laughs>